It's not hard. But does it go back on? Yeah. Yep. It's a little bit more than yesterday. Shh. All right, here we go. So, if a period of play, if you have a nice calculator, you can help on these. But even if your calculator can do some of these problems, you need to pay attention because none of the calculators do all of the problems. So even if it can do number one, doesn't mean it can do number 11. So make sure you pay attention to figure out how to get these. Um, so. Wait, Mr. Jordan. What? Did you remember to hit record? Yes. Okay. Do you not know tell us to subscribe? Do you not know record yesterday, Steve? You gotta say this. Well, he started it a little bit late, but not much. Welcome back, hey to guys. You. Welcome back. To he hasn't started on it. Alright. So. Like and subscribe. Uh, a lot of calculators can do this problem, but they can't do, like, uh, this problem. Okay. So, in other words, oh, probably about half, a little more than half the calculators can't do it. Can do square roots, but they can't do cube roots. Now, all calculators can do decimals. So, it's not the decimal that we're doing today, though. So, most of this chapter, we're not going to change our answers into decimals. We're going to simplify the radical, which means. Well, you're about to find out what I mean. Um, so, no decimal. Okay, does 20 have a nice square root? No. No, it does not. Um, but we can still do something with it. So, here's what we're going to do. What, what do you think that means? Wow. Right, the prime factorization, the factor tree. What goes into 20? What goes in, and then that's a prime, so that tree branch stops. What goes into 10? Okay, even though 20 doesn't have a nice square root, okay, what this means, by the way, of these bottom branches, it means 2 times 2 times 5 equals 20. That's what this means. Okay, even though 20 doesn't have a nice square root, 2 times 2 does have a nice square root. Because 2 times 2 is 4, and what's the square root of 4? 2. So, if there is a double of something, double 2, that's going to come out. And then the 5, which is left over, is going to stay behind. Because basically this means square root of 20 is like the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And even though the square root of 4 doesn't simplify, or square root of 5 doesn't simplify, square root of 4 does. So the doubles come out, and the leftover stays behind. That's it. Okay, now it gets a little bit trickier with cube. Well, not much. It's about the same as this, but... Um, so if you have a nice calculator and you plug in square root of 20, it will give you this answer. However, even if you have a nice calculator, it won't give you this answer. But we'll talk about that one in a second. Um, let's do one more. Let's try to make it a little bit trickier. Let's do 80. This is hard. You should Oh, I didn't say it was hard. 16 is kind of hard. Okay, 80. What goes into 80? 8 and 10. 8 and 10. 4, 2, 5, 2. 2, 2. Okay. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. So there's two double twos. So what am I taking out? I'm taking out 2 times 2. Because remember, all these things are multiplied. So yeah, what comes out is 4, and then what's left behind is 5. Let's pretend there was like another 3 out here. Guess what would go inside the radical under the square root? If there was another 3, let's pretend. Guess what I put under here? Okay, these are multiplied numbers, so what I put under the radical is 5 times 3, 15. Okay, now, so that wasn't it. That would be the answer if this was like 240 or something. Okay, now let's go to the cube root, and then we'll start the lesson. 
This is the one the calculators can't do, or 4 root, or 5th root, or 6th root, or whatever. What goes into 54? 9 and 6. 9 and 6. Oh, I forgot about the letters. Yeah, well, do the letters first. Um, okay, guess what's different about a cube group? There's a You need, instead of finding doubles, you need to find triples. Because even though 54 doesn't have a nice cube root, you plug in the calculator, it doesn't work very well. Um, 3 times 3, that doesn't have a nice cube root, but 3 times 3 times 3, that does have a cube root. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, but guess what the cube root of 27 is? 3. So basically you just find the triples. A 3 comes out, and then the 2 is left behind. But... A lot of people are going to get this wrong. You got to put the root right there. If it's not a t if it's not a square root, you got to say what root it is. If you make that mistake once, I'll give you a freebie. But if you do it on the next problem, it's half off. So you got to be careful. If you put three squared of two, that's not right. It's three cubed root of two. Okay, I skipped the letters, so I need to go. Oh, I should have left that. I need to go back and do the letters. So. Let's do square root of 27 a cubed would be beautiful. Okay, for the 27, the, no the normal number, do normal stuff. You could do this part on your calculator, I guess. But 9 times 3, 3 times 3, so it's just for the 27, it's 3 square root of 3. Got it? Okay. But I'm leaving space. Why did I leave space? <laughs> For the letters. Okay, here's how the letters go. What's the invisible number that's right here? Two. two. So we subtract. No, it's not subtract. It's, remember yesterday when we did like A to the 3 over 2? Yeah. It's divide. It's divide. Like 3 divided by 2. So, 3, you do 3 divided by 2, like the old-fashioned dividing. How many times does 2 go into 3? One. Once with the remainder of 1. So that means 1a is going to come out, and 1a is left behind. So 1a comes out, 1 is left behind. Okay. On the b's, it's... 4 divided by 2. What's 4 divided by 2? 2. 2 with the remainder of 0. So that means 2 comes out and none are left behind. Because if you think about it, like what times itself equals b to the 4th? b squared, right? So anyway, I didn't need that part. That's about as hard as it gets. That's like the hardest question on that. Well, 16 is just a really big number. Okay, number one. Ready? I think it was square root of 12, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. On the evens, if you can use your calculator, that'll get you through the first five problems. But we're all we're going to practice without a calculator. What goes into 12? What goes into 6? Okay. Once we get to the cubed roots, I'm going to say yes, because you cannot do those without a, with a calculator. So if you're just writing the answers down, it makes me think you're probably cheating. But on this part, I'll say it's okay. All right, you guys remember how I did it? Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. No, I'm not going to worry about the odds. Okay, it's 2 squared 3. You guys know what 2 squared of 3 means? Uh, it means 2 times squared of 3. Or it means 2 squared of 3's. Because remember when you put a number right next to a letter, it means times. This means times also. Alright. Oh, I've got a question for you. 
What if we were doing square root of 196 and we get 2727? What does that mean? Uh, 2 times 7. 2, two times 7. Square root of 14. And what if nothing's left behind? 9. It's just exactly 14. That's what it means. It's not 14. So that means this one, we could just plug it in our calculator and just pull it. All calculators would know that one is 14. All right, number three. Um, oh, I think I accidentally did this one. You guys remember it? Whoops. Okay, what goes into 27? So it's going to be three square root of three. One, the double comes out, the three comes out, but that leaves one three behind. Okay. Right. Number five, square root of fifty. Oh, I probably should talk about number six too. What goes into 50? Okay, so what's it going to be? Five. Five square root of two. I said for the, uh, once you get to like the cube groups and stuff. If it's not something you can do in your head, basically you need to show your work. Um, well, I wouldn't expect you to be able to do these in your head, but, you know, since they're odd, then it's not a good one. Number seven. Oh, six. Six. I was supposed to talk about six. Six is square root of 15. So it's three times five. What, if, what do you think we do with that? It's just square root of 15. Yeah, if you plug in the calculator, it'll say square root of 15. So we're just going to put what the directions tell us to. Does not simplify. That's what I got. You got it right? Congrats. Number seven. And there's a couple of evens or odds that do that too. I think that was the only even was number six that does that. 192, that's kind of a big number. 12 and 16, working ahead. Calculating. 12 nerds. Oh, nerds. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she knew that in her head. I think she plugged that in. No, I'm just so smart, guys. Yeah, because you're mega light. <laughs> Big four. <laughs> you should wow. start wearing like a ponytail. And just look at no, get out. No, put okay. your glasses, Shh. braces. What goes into 12? 3 and 4. Okay. <laughs> get out. And this you is get four out. and four and twos and twos and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Look at all that. Okay, so we're going for double. So there's a double two, a double two, a double two. And a three. So what, and a three left over. What comes out? Two, two times two times two. Eight. What comes out is 2 times 2. All this stuff is multiplied together. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 192. So anyway, when you take it out, it's still multiplied. Then the 3 is left over. Good for the book. The book loves. And the book is going to fall I apart. Number nine. Square root of 70. Oh Seven times two. ten. Two. two and five. What do I do? Does not simplify. No doubles. 
right. Is number 11 the cube root problem? Yeah. Are you going to tell us? Oh, did I accidentally do number 11 too? Uh, okay. Okay. So basically, number 12 is where you guys need to start showing your work. Um, Wait, so you're saying for the odds for the cube, we don't have to show them? Yeah, I'm not going to make that, I guess. But then for the evens for the cube, we do. Because you're doing it yourself, so you need to do it. All right, what goes into 54? Nine. Yeah, I accidentally put this one at the beginning. You guys probably forgot what it was, though, but... It was like three and two. It was like all three. Okay, yeah. so because we're doing a cube root, it takes a triple for it to come out. So we have a triple three, so the three is coming out and the two is left behind. So it's three cubed root of two. It sounds so much more sad when you say it's left behind. Yeah. But it's probably the best the way that makes the most sense. Yeah, three is free and two stays in jail. <laughs> it sounds worse. It takes three of them to make the escape, two of them die. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that that was two, two of them dead. They're all dead. Look like, no. no. like, like, I've always stood on the same side. You move like. No, Shannon, Shannon. No, stop playing. You have to sit there forever. The horse knows. Yeah. Yeah, okay, nope. what? Uh, yeah, but if you do that, you have to He said, do the work on 17 Yeah. 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 Thirteen is cubed root of one hundred and sixty. It's more natural for me staying on this side. Though. And Grant yeah. doesn't need help. Oh wait, Grant's on this side. No, 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 no. 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 It used to be Forrest. Now it's Caden. Oh, okay. I can't see. Macy anything. needs more help. Do I do? Then Caden. If I had to say, um, what goes into one hundred and sixty? Okay, so remember we're doing Q groups, which means we need a triple. One, two, three. Yeah. That's the only triple I see. So a two comes out, and what is left behind? Five times two times two. Twenty. Harder than yesterday because you actually have to use your brain, but yeah. it's not too bad. But my brain is used to it. Fifteen. Fourth root of a thousand. Okay, what goes into a thousand? Hundred times ten. Okay, what goes into a hundred? And what goes into all those tens? Two, five, two, five, two, five. So, what do we need on this one? Four. We need four of them. Quadruple. We don't have four. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. What is that? That's not a simple five. Oh, yeah. Go. Probably 16 might be the hardest one on here because uh, you see how it, nah. you see how it has a seventh root. Oh god! So you have to have seven of something for it to come out. Yay. And there oh, is there is seven of something that goes into 512. Is it two? 
You will find out. Bro. It's oh, just two. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, not right now, not right now. We're almost done. 17. Okay, do you remember how I said to do the letters? Yeah, divide. What's the invisible root right here? Two. two. So it's two divided by two one. is one. So yeah, it's one with the remainder zero. So one. Two. Just think about it, because remember square root. Remember that square root means what times itself equals that. So what times itself equals x squared? X. X. Okay. I'm gonna make a note here. This is this part's kind of complicated. I'm just gonna mention it because this my answer is not 100% technically right. If x were negative, like a negative two, and then we squared it, it would become a positive four, and then we square root that, and it would be a positive two. So technically, if x were negative, it would become positive x. So. The technical correct answer is absolute value of x. Because when you square the negative, it becomes positive. But I'm not going to make you guys worry about that. It's a little bit too much for us right now. So we're just going to say it's x. Yeah. We're going to pretend all these numbers are positive. Do you have to show wrong on this section? Uh, there's not really a thing you can do on that one. Oh. Number 19. Why does it square root of y to the fifth? Okay, so how do I do this one? Five divided by two. Going back to what? Third grade? Two two and remainder one. Yeah. How many times two going to five? Plus. That's remainder of one. So two comes out, one's left behind. Two comes out. Can we just go back to doing yeah. that math? Hey, we just did it. We are doing it. I know, but let's just like leave uh, that as the answer. Right. I bet you cast it. Shh. Bro, women be like. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> So on the normal number, we're going to do normal stuff. What's the square root of 16? Four. Four. Give us a chance. Yeah. No, no, just don't. Just do it. Okay. Just, yes. just think about it. Are, are you done with your test? Yeah. Oh. Snuck in on me. All right. Square root of 16. I mean, I could do the tree on 16, but, you know, square root of 16 is 4, right? So it just yeah. turns into a 4. Square root of x squared. 2 divided by 2 is 1. one. We did square root of x squared a minute ago, remember? It's just x. Okay, does this make sense why this works? Because what times itself equals 16x squared? 4x. 4x times 4x, right? Yes. 4 times 4 is 16, x times x is x squared. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Okay, we're almost done. 23 says, probably the trickiest of the B section, of the ones we've done so far. 18 x squared y. Okay. okay, is there a nice square root of 18? No. No, so we're going to have to do the tree on that guy. Or you could use your calculator. No. Um, but since there's letters involved, the calculator won't do it all. So you remember how we did this? Three, two. square root of two. But I'm leaving a gap because why? Letters. Because I gotta do the letters. Okay, what am I gonna do with the x? Divide. Two divided divide by two? One. One with remainder of none, so that's all for the x. Okay, actually we haven't done this thing with the y yet. What am I gonna do with the y? One divided by one. Okay, it's 1 divided by 2. How many times does 2 go into 1? 0 with the remainder of 
One. So in other words, the y, move. the y doesn't move at all. Zero come out, one is left behind. The y doesn't, there's not enough y's to simplify it. So the y just stays, y. stays locked in jail.